This is our daughter, Tate. She is a happy and curious eight-year-old who loves gymnastics, playing softball, and going to the beach. Tate was born with mild, low-frequency hearing loss. This type of hearing loss makes it harder to hear certain sounds, including speech. For Tate, normal talking might sound like this without amplification by a hearing aid. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ed Levy. Here's your San Francisco forecast. Very bleak cloudy, maybe a shower by morning, low, low 50s. With normal hearing, the same talking sounds like this. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ed Levy. Here's your San Francisco forecast. Very bleak cloudy, maybe a shower by morning, low, low 50s. Even though Tate still hears many sounds, it's much harder for Tate to understand speech clearly. This is especially true in noisy places, like a noisy restaurant or a crowded classroom. This situation can be really tiring for people with hearing loss because it takes a lot of extra energy and focus to understand what someone is saying. The classroom environment can pose specific challenges for children with hearing loss. For example, children often need to hear and understand instructions without seeing the teacher's face, separate out the teacher's voice from background chatter of other children, and hear a voice from far away. For many kids with hearing loss, school is the first time that they have to navigate these difficult listening situations, and it takes them time and practice to build these listening skills. There are several things that you can do to help make listening easier for Tate. Number one, provide a good listening environment. Tate will have the easiest time listening when she can see your face and there is no background noise from things like TVs, radios, and dishwashers. When you can, you can help by reducing noise in the room or find a quieter part of the room to talk to Tate. You can also help by moving closer to Tate when you're talking to her. Number two, provide strategic seating for Tate. In a classroom environment, Tate will understand you best when she is seated in a place where she is near the teacher, can see the teacher well, and is away from loud appliances like heating and air conditioning vents. Number three, repeat and rephrase. Even when they are paying attention, children with hearing loss are more likely to miss out on sounds and words in conversation. When Tate didn't understand your message, you can help by repeating what you just said or rephrasing it so that Tate can understand. Please don't say, never mind, or don't worry about it. These responses can be very frustrating for people with hearing loss because it makes them feel left out. Number four, pause and wait. Just like all skills, listening skills take time and practice to get good at. If you ask Tate something and she doesn't respond right away, pause and wait before repeating yourself. This extra time can be really helpful for Tate to practice processing the many sounds she's receiving. Doing these things will really help Tate to have an easier time understanding you and will also help her to be successful, successful in school. Thanks for listening.